In 2022, Longines launched their Zulu Time, a pilot's or traveling watch, and it was all there. The look, the functionality, and of course Longines' traditional bond to aviation. Which watch brand traveled with guys like Charles Lindbergh? <laughs> exactly. The Spirit Zulu Time appeared first with a case diameter of 42mm, which was for many people too big, and so disappointment here and there from guys who loved the watch but couldn't wear it. Well, that will change now, because Longines has announced a new variant of the Zulu Time with a case diameter of 39mm and some bling. And in this video I'd like to focus on a version with some golden elements that will count this August, because I feel they add something very special. Basics. First, we have an automatic watch with a mentioned 39mm case diameter. Length is not stated yet, but should be around 46. Height is 13.5 and lug width 21. The watch has a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating, a screw-down crown and is waterproof up to 100 meters. The bezel works unidirectional, has a ceramic insert and provides a 24-hour scale for the GMT function. The watch is powered by the L844.4, which is a modified ETA A31 and a monster. COSC certified anti-magnetic silicon balance spring date function, the mentioned GMT function and the power reserve of 72 hours. The watch comes either on a NATO, leather strap or metal bracelet and the price for the last version is 4450 euros with VAT or 3945 US dollars. So at first glance we see that they kept the design of the bigger Zulu and scaled it down. Some changes are visible though. The crown for example has a wider form, goes in direction onion crown. The set of hands, numerals, the fabulous logo, all this stays and that's a relief. The design delivers again a rich conglomerate of elements, rather a busy dial, but everything has symmetry and connection. Note for example how well the second hand picks up the diamond form of the indices and the nice correspondence of the fonts, especially the numerals. The date wheel has changed, the font there picks up the gold tone and blends in nicely. The case has changed proportions, note that the lugs are longer and thinner, they look more refined and you may also notice a change on the bracelet. The middle row of links is not as dominant anymore and the entire thing looks more balanced. So overall until now I have the strong feeling that this new diameter has improved the entire design of the watch. Now let's speak about the material. The bezel and the crown are made of 18 karat yellow gold and this delivers a stunning mix. Gold alone is beautiful but can overpower a watch and makes it heavy, expensive and for many people it's just too much bling. But I really like to encourage you to try it out as an element of a watch. The amount of gold you see here is in my humble opinion miles away from the red light district. It delivers warmth, especially in combination with the bezel insert. You may think that it's black, but it's in fact a dark brown, so also a warm color. And I bet that this brown and the gold will be a dream team when sunlight hits this ensemble. But of course the material has its price. The normal Zulu time starts at 3350 euros with VAT and 3050 US dollars. So we have a significant raise in price and I don't think that this can be explained only with the material. This is the price for a speciality. By the way, when you are interested in calculations and the business side behind them, then check out my video about climbing watch prices, which you see now as a link in the upper right corner. And that said, allow me to close this episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much and see you next Monday to watch of the week.